When people go to the Oregon coast and go down tide pooling, one thing they look for and they almost always see are sea stars. We see primarily one species of sea star on our coast called the ochre star, it's typically either bright orange or bright red or even bright purple. The ochre star is considered a top predator because it actually preys on mussels which form the foundation of many of our intertidal habitats. If there are no sea stars, basically the mussels would take over and that would exclude many other species that live in and amongst these intertidal areas. They were showing up with white lesions on their bodies and they were just falling apart before their very eyes. We lost nearly 90% of the organisms in some places up and down the west coast. The sea star wasting disease is probably the most dramatic episode of this sort that we've seen ever. There's two big questions in my mind. Number one, why did it occur across the, the entire west coast? And number two, what are the factors that actually caused it to occur? The Nature Conservancy has been mobilizing volunteers and staff to do monitoring at the Oregon Marine Reserves that occur on the coast. We're counting sea stars, we're measuring each one, and we're also assessing how healthy it is, whether it has any sign of wasting disease or not.